So I initially wanted to study psychology at university but doing the EPQ I now want to study psychology, philosophy and English literature which is quite a lot but that's from all, like doing my EPQ and all the findings that I had and like I found out what I was really interested in. Yeah so I actually had to change my uni course <laughs> because halfway through I realised that psychology and philosophy are so like inextricably linked that I wanted to study both of them together so that's, that's how it really changed like my kind of career in a sense. One of my offers is actually based on my um, EPQ, so they've lowered my offer to ABB with my EPQ. So I just looked at four psychologists, so four different theories, and I analysed them. So, um, for example, I looked at Skinner and I looked at operant conditioning. So are we free or is, are all our actions determined? And I actually found that there was a link between religion and our opinion on that. And then I found that it linked to other psychologists. So for example, I looked at Milgram and he looked at obedience. So does religion act as an authority and does that influence our behavior? So definitely I learned about like time management. I thought I was so good at managing my time, but I'm terrible. Um, but that has definitely helped me. And I feel like it's gonna help me so much with the university. And um, just asking questions, like being interested in other things that are outside of school. Like I feel like I'm reading way more than I used to now because of the EPQ, so that's really good. I definitely recommend someone doing the EPQ, especially if you have time and you're interested in something.